In this series of videos, I'm going to be making a locking automatic chicken coop door. There's going to be a few things in this series that uh, may seem a little bit daunting at first, like working with electronics and programming. But I'm going to try my best to make that as painless as possible so that you and anybody else can do this project. So let's get started. To get started with the wooden portion of our project here, I've got this one by six by six foot long board. I believe it's pine. And I'll make some uh, markings here. And of course I'll put this in the description so it's easy to follow. But here's the plan. We want to mark out on this board 35 inches. We also want to rip this same section here at two inches and two more inches. Okay. Now at the other end down here, we want to mark out 16 and a fourth. And we just want to cut this in half. So we're looking at approximately two and three quarter. After that cut, we've got two 16 and a quarter inch long, two and a half. We've got two 35 inch long that are two inches. And then we have this scrap piece which we'll use here in a minute. Off to the next board. The second board we're working with is a four foot long one by 12. This is gonna be the actual door that's gonna move up and down. I want to make that 15 inches tall. So let's cut this at 15. Now with the remaining 33 inches of this board, we're gonna cut down to every two and a half inch to make four two and a half inch by 33 inch long pieces. So let's rip this down. After those cuts, we're left with four two and a half inch, 33 inch long boards. Now, we're done cutting for a bit. Let's put these things together. I've got some exterior wood screws and these have a star head on them. So I've got the, uh, the free included star bit. So what we're gonna do is take uh, one of the, the thicker, the two and a half inch pieces and just drill a uh, screw into one of the edges here. Oops. All the way through and then back it out a little bit. When you flip it over, uh, we're gonna be putting a washer on uh, between these, sandwich between, so as to um, allow the door to slide better between these pieces. So now that that's done, I'm going to be putting this piece onto the two inch piece. So I hope that makes sense here. So I'm just going to put this down here, line it up with the end and the edges to make it square. Then I'm just going to cinch these down. Oops. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same thing up top here. And I'll put a few of these in between. I just want to make sure it's uh, nice and squared off here. Now on the flip side, it's not important to put a washer because that one washer length in there is enough to uh, make this slide easily. So with this one, I'm just gonna be plopping the next board on top here, line it up and screw it together. So as you can see, we've made a cute little track that the door is able to slide up and down on with uh, plenty of give in there and it's not gonna come out sideways. So both the runners are done, and the door I've just got in here just to show an example of how that's going to operate. Very smooth. All right, 
The next thing we're gonna do is work on the top up here. Whenever I marked out the top here, I gave us a little extra room to make sure the door was gonna slide fluidly. And I like it here. So let's cut this top piece down to 15 and a half. And that should give us plenty of room up here at the top. Um, and of course I have to do both of these. So let's do that now. Now let's attach our top board here. Um, just with the others, we're gonna also have to use a washer here. So I'm gonna get this one started on here. Line it up and then put one of these screws in here. Okay. And I'm just going to put this on here. Okay. I'm also just going to put a couple of uh, screws in here just to uh, keep it in place. But these won't be quite as tight. Okay. Now, let's scoot down a little bit and do the other side, just like this one. I just flipped it over, and I'm just going to put screws on this side just to keep this board in place here. Now remember that scrap piece we cut earlier? We're gonna use it now to keep the lower half together. So just like the top, we want this to be 15 and a half inches. Okay, that's gonna be used right here to uh, keep the middle together. Once you've cut that little board down, you're going to want to place it somewhere a couple of inches above the top of the door. Because when this slides up, the locking mechanisms are going to be here and don't want this to interfere. So I'm going to place it approximately here. Let's see where that is. Looks like about 18 inches up from the bottom. Let's take a look at what we have so far. So as you can see, this slides really nice and it's quite a sturdy door, especially since it's for chickens. Now, uh, eventually there's going to be uh, a piece down here, uh, for instance, the floor that will keep this from coming out. And so up top here, I've left this piece open so that we can pull this out for maintenance uh, if we have to. Well, this concludes part one of our locking automatic chicken coop door. This thing slides quite freely and it's not coming out of this track, so that's a good thing. Now, next time we'll be uh, putting the locking mechanism on here and then uh, doing a little bit of wiring. So look forward to that. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House and I will see you in the next video.